these animals endure sweltering 43 degrees Celsius weather waiting for buyers. Most of them have been here for weeks with only a few customers stopping by to make inquiries. It's the same story at the cattle and camels section just a few hundred meters away. Traders say poor sales only got worse recently. There's been little or no export to Nigeria because of Boko Haram cutting off business with Nigeria. Then coronavirus, the rebellion and now the political uncertainty after the death of the president. For years, Chad has exported animals, hides and skin. Traders then buy cheaper goods from countries like Cameroon and especially Nigeria. Not anymore. Boko Haram attacks have cut off those supply routes. Goods destined for Nigeria are now being rerouted through Cameroon, eating into any profit. At this market in Jemina, a truck of loads cartons of bar soap. One of the few products people here can afford to buy. Mohammed Masar has been sitting at his shop all day and was unable to sell even a grain of rice. Business for us is tough. Transporting goods from Daula or Sudan or Libya is too expensive. The ordinary Chadian cannot afford to pay the extra costs. The discovery of oil in 2003 was held by the government as a new dawn as cotton production, the main export, fell behind. Then oil prices crashed in 2020 due to COVID-19, punching a big hole in government finances. Last year, Chad warned that it will have to default on commercial payments. It's not only trade that's been crippled. Many hotels here in the capital, like this one, are either operating well below their capacity or have shut down altogether. And that's worsened the unemployment in this landlocked country. Economists say any recovery will depend on how fast the country ends the rebellion and achieves political stability. A unity government should quickly be put in place and political dialogue must start immediately. The army must also quickly tackle insecurity. That's how we'll revive the economy, win back investors and re-establish trust among Chadians. Chad's economic and political crisis is made worse by high unemployment figures. An estimated 75,000 graduates in this country of 16 million have no work. Experts warn, unless the country find ways to engage them, non-state actors hungry for power. Well, Ahmed Idris, Al Jazeera, Jamena.